Hi, my name is Tom Lever. In this video, part 4 of Little YOLO version 4 and how Darknet and YOLO version 4 convolutional neural networks work, I would like to go over the first parts of test detector and a discovery that I've made. So, in our conventional darknet solution, we have a data file that lists number of classes, a list of paths to training images, a list of paths of validation images, a path to a file listing the names of all of the classes, a path for storing waste files that are generated, and this is only slightly modified for little YOLO version 4 by changing this relative path by eliminating one parent directory of the Visual Studio project. I discovered that this minimal form of Coco.data actually works just fine. It's just a list, or just a path to the file listing all of the names of all of the classes. And to demonstrate this, going to the project properties for Little YOLO version 4. Presently, we have Coco.data, which you just saw. Um, I'm going to change this to Coco.data minimal. And let's give that a run. It seems to be working. So this discussion just indicated that in your data file, you only need the path to the names file. But then that begs the question, why do we need this data file at all? So here in test detector, this reads the data file into a linked list consisting of nodes. Each node contains a key value pair, and the key is before the equal sign of one of these lines, and the value is after the equal sign. And then Little YOLO 4 presently calls another me method to set a string called name list to the path of the names file. And then it uses the string path of the names file to create a pointer to a, a set of pointers to strings, so basically a list of all of the names. So I can eliminate this section. How do I do this? Well, first, Let's change this argument 
So now we're changing the structure of the call, which is a big thing, I think. Um, and let's change this to uh, the path to the names file. So we step up one to go from the project file to the, the main directory of little yolo version 4. Then we go down to the data folder and we're passing in now the path to coco.names. And so data CFG was defined in run detector as argument number one, two, three, four with index of three. Um, and now data CFG is actually the path to the names file. So let's override the definition of name list here and set it equal to now the path to the names file and see if that works. And I think also I can comment out these lines of code now. Let's try that. Nope. Uh, it likes options. Um, and it specifically likes it for freeing the contents of the linked list of the options and freeing the options itself. We'll come back to these free methods in a little bit. Let's try building that. Seems to work. Okay, so we just significantly simplified little YOLO version 4 even more. So how can we clean this up now? Well, first I'm going to open these back up so I can see references to these methods. So let's look at the call hierarchy and there's just one call to test detector, so I can comment out this line. And I can, I, I then need to comment out this line, but let's look at the call hierarchy of uh, option find string. Okay, this is used to parse options from our main YOLO version 4.cfg file later on um, for establishing a convolutional layer. So we need that method, but we don't need it here. So again, I'll comment it out. Uh, the gist of that was that uh, read CFG is only used here, so we can get rid of it completely. So going down here, here's read data CFG. For now, I'm going to, oopsie, um, I'm going to exclude from build. Um, so that I'm not making any huge architectural changes that are hard to replace. Um, these are commented out, the free statements are commented out. I'm actually going to uh, bring these two back real quickly just so I can see their chi call hierarchies. Um, Free list contents KVP is only used here in test detector for freeing up the, the options list. And uh, thus, because it was commented out, we don't need it. Um, let's 
comment this out. Looking at the cut call hierarchy here, um, it's going to be used to parse the network options uh, when establishing the network. We need that. And it's also used to actually generate that list of names. So we need that. Um, but we don't need it here. So I can also exclude free list contents KVP from the build. Free list contents KVP. Okay. Project properties excluded from build. Yes. All right. So a quick summary in our command line arguments, we have replaced coco.data with coco.names, the path. And we've commented out the read coco.data functionality as well as the freeing functionality for the content of the list that represents coco.data. All right, now I think I want to clear some things up. So I want to change data CFG to say path to names file. Before making this change, I'm going to go to the declaration in testdetector.header file. Reorganizing a little. Okay, so here in the header file, I'm going to change the input parameter name to path to names file. And then the main definition in the signature, let's change this to path to names file. And then here, where we're actually, well, actually we don't need this statement at all. So let's get rid of that as well. And we will need the list of all of the names, but let's pass in, instead of undefined name list, path to names file. Okay, um, so that takes care of test detector, I believe. But in run detector as well, we should clean this up a little bit uh, by changing data CFG to path to names file and passing the actual or changing the actual pass parameter name to test detector to path to names file. Let's see if that's all working. All right, great, it's, it's working. Um, so I'm also going to change this comment. So this is path to names file equals the path, which is parent directory, then data, then coco.names. That all looks clean. I'm gonna close out run detector. Um, just make a few readability adjustments here. Okay. And 
Ah, one thing I forgot here is to eliminate the inclusions. So let's go up and comment out read data CFG. Option find string here. Uh, then comment out free list contents KVP and free list. Okay, so in the next video, I think I'd like to introduce Get Labels Custom, which generates this basically list of names. Finally, I'm just going to delete these commented out items. I don't need testing equipment either. Okay. And let's get rid of finally Free list contents KVP. Free list contents KVP. Read data CFG. And read data CFG. Then let's get rid of these coco.data files. and try once more. Everything seems to be fine. Well, thanks for watching.